Hi, this is Mitch Gross from Convergent Design here with Oliver, and we're going to show you the different high frame rate capabilities with the Odyssey 7Q when it is paired with the FS700 camera. Now, this Odyssey 7 is showing you the output, uh, the monitoring output of the camera, and this is the raw output of the camera. So you can see we're set to 4096 by 2160 at 24 frames per second. That's regular frame rate video, and so that would be raw 4K material that's going to the Odyssey, but at regular frame rates. Now we can switch this camera into high speed, high frame rate settings. So I'm gonna skip over one setting and go to the 2K super slow-mo to its highest frame rate available. Just takes a moment for it to come up on the Odyssey 7Q to recognize what that signal is. It's 240 frames a second, which is very fast, which means we need to open up the iris a bit to be able to match our exposure from previous. So that's about the same. Now we are shooting 2K at 240 frames a second. Uh, the camera can't output all that information in 4K at, that, at such a high frame rate because it's just so much data to have to push through the pipe. It's just so much information. But we can take 2K 2048 by uh, 1080 and take that material continuously at 240 frames a second until we would fill up our SSDs on the Odyssey 7Q, which would mean we can shoot for 20 minutes continuously at that point, and then we'd have hours and hours of material uh, played back. So I can take the camera and I can just hit record, and now we are recording at 240 frames a second directly into the Odyssey 7Q, and this is raw material. It's in 2K, raw, shooting to the Odyssey 7Q. So I hit stop on the camera, and we can go right into the Odyssey 7Q and take a look at that shot. And so we can see now it's playing back at 24 frames a second, and you can see the slow-mo right in action. Of course, we can always pause it and scroll through the material to anywhere we want in the shot and just play it right back on the Odyssey 7Q. Again, this is 2K raw material shot at 240 frames per second. Now we go back into the playback. From the playback, we go back into record mode and we're gonna to switch to the other raw mode on the camera for high speed, and that's 4K super slow-mo. Now, the highest frame rate available in this mode, I'm gonna just reset the exposure level, is 120 frames per second. So I'm going to adjust the iris for that. So we have about the same exposure level. Now, the camera can't push 4K at 120 frames per second through the SDI feed that would feed into the Odyssey. It just can't get that much information through that pipe. It's just too much data. So instead, what the camera does is it uses its own memory, internal memory buffer. When you're shooting HD with the FS700, the way it works, uh, because the little SD card can't take the information that fast, the way it records uh, the high-speed material is to record the information to a memory buffer, just a few seconds worth, and then dump that as fast as it can to the SD card, and that's in HD in a compressed form. Well, in 4K super slow-mo, which can go up to 120 frames a second, the output speed that the camera can handle in 4K raw is 60 frames a second. So it utilizes that same memory buffer, but now for a different purpose. It takes the 4K raw frames, it can fit 440 of them inside that memory buffer. And so then it outputs that at, it records it at 120 frames a second, but it will output that at 60 frames a second. And so the 120 frames and you have uh, 440 frames available, it's about 3.7 seconds. And when you play it out from the camera by hitting the record, and now that memory buffer is outputting and going to the recording on the Odyssey 7Q. It's all automatically queued and automatically set to work. That 3.7 seconds turns into about 18 seconds of playback material. So now here we are in 4K, uncompressed material that was shot at 120 frames a second, playing back now at 24 frames a second. And again, of course, we can scroll through that, get to the part of the shot that we want to check out, and then go ahead and play the file directly. So, 
You can have 4K up to 120 frames a second in a short memory buffer, or you can have 2K at 240 frames a second for continuous until we would fill the cards, which is a very long time, up to 20 minutes of recording time.